hi guys welcome back to my channel how are we all doing today yes we are here to react you know to the trending news we have seen what is going on in nigeria we have seen the protests and the complaint from different people you know in the country the northerners are protesting the west are also protesting because of the hardship and those who supported the, the current president you know during the election almost all of them are now complaining about the hardship and everything so this video is not to mock or to laugh at anybody, but it's for you to know what is going on in the country. Yes, I will start by, you know, letting you know that you have to subscribe to the channel. It is a, you know, it is a good thing for you to do. If you're watching from Facebook, follow the page, like the video, comment, share. Tell me what you think about this information and let's go there. Yes, if you're also watching from YouTube, please do the same. Subscribe to the channel. It is very very important. We are here to You know discuss about what is happening in the country about the current information the political issues And what concerns our people like the protest that is going on and the hardship and the you know Problems that people are facing economically. We have to discuss about it now the people uh, gadgets have this information to us they said great politicians who lost 2023 elections causing hunger rising and cost of living inflation shetima that's the vice president is telling you that uh, the poor economic uh, issue that the people are facing the hardship and everything is being caused by opponents so what do you think about it is it true do you really think that the problem of the country the hardship is because of opposition that means p2b and uh, article yes P2B and Atiku are the problem of the Nigerian economic situation. You know, the dollar is now about uh, 1,700 or 1,800, some say 2,000 even, but I don't know, I'm not sure about it. But the truth is that it cannot be opposition, you know, creating economic hardship for people. How does that make sense? But let me not uh, say much about it. All I have to do now is to share with you the comment of people to this news okay i will just share a few then we move to another news okay it's not, we are not going to you know waste much time then all i said what do you expect from a <laughs> what do you expect from who find his way to asarok sometimes i wonder what tinubu saw in him out of all the sensible northerners in nigeria will you have to be a Hidden criminal for Tinubu to notice you. That is Allah, of course, the Yoruba guy, and this is what he have to say. I'm just picking it randomly, okay? Um, let's see another one. Uh, Queen B said, Tinubu Shetema enough with these lies and deceit. Nigerians are fed up with being taken advantage of. It's time to stop the challenge and start acting responsibly. That is what Queen have to say. Then another one says, Ele said, Buku Tima, don't follow talk. <laughs> I be you think, say, we don't forget, say, now you, now your house, the bomber of Abuja was funding, was, was found, found hiding. I no blame you, now Tinubu and Nigerians accepting you, I blame. That is what they said. Not from me, okay? Now, let's uh, go to this news as well because like i told you we are going to respond to different types of news another one here is nigerian government threatening to open that is from sarah reporters nigerian government threatening to open border for cement importation if manufacturers insist on high price like we know today some people say that the bag of cement in abuja is now five thousand some said in southeast you can get at least three thousand something and four thousand thereabouts so the price is uh, is not steady it's, it's shaking even even though it's shaking it's still at high rates now sahara reporter said this again that breaking news nigerian custom service to distribute confiscated food items nationwide over hardship that is what the sahara said so as you can see here in the in this picture as you can see here this is a Sarah so reporters showing you the bags of rice and food item that custom seized. So my reaction to this is is not um, something that um, 
this kind of news is not something that you should be happy to hear because we know the people that normally import goods to the country it is Igbo people so if is if this is a way to get back at Igbos for not protesting i don't think it's a good idea for federal government to do this because after sharing people's goodies their people's this is their capital they spend money to buy those items to import it in the country and if you see it because it is a banned product item and a federal government is not happy that it, the food is coming into the country and all that why are you not you know make use of the goods normally you should destroy it why are you you know make use of it i'm not saying you should destroy but if you want to prove that it should be contraband because when you say contraband maybe the the, the the good the food or the item is not good for health or maybe it is too inferior for people to use in the country or it is causing one harm or damage or you know that kind of thing that something that is not good for you know for the masses but this is a foreign rice and the country need it mostly at the moment and you when you go to market it's not as if you go to market you will not see foreign rice to buy you see it the custom don't question people who sells those foreign rice in the market, who manage to you know smuggle their own to the market. But the the little maybe those ones you are seeing here, maybe the people you know refuse to pay the amount of money they they are demanding for them to move into the country, even though it's contraband. So we all know that this is corruption and it's not good at all. Okay, if you share this item to people at the moment, what if the food finish? what food again are you going to share them in next six months if i'm not mistaken so depending on how they how they consume this one you don't just use it as a way to solve your problem economic problem in nigeria is not this is not the best way to solve it and if government said okay we the people the masses need rice why don't you use so federal government can also use their money to finance it if they really want to give rice to you know masses they can spend their you know, put it in the budget the, the way they normally you know allocate money for cars SUV cars for the senators and for their for themselves so they can map out money budget you know for that and buy rice for the for the masses instead of using people's rice and businesses to do the giveaway it doesn't make sense to me and it shouldn't be something anyone should be proud of now this person reacted to the post and John Iyano says confiscated to be distributed maybe that is okay too you see they are supporting that because this person is not a you know he's not an able he doesn't uh, care with the capital you know uh, business capital uh, of people that they are going to you know waste in the name of uh, confiscated items and all that so that is what you have to experience in nigeria and uh Mas, he said this people's hard work this is people's hard work okay some of them took long to import these items. These aren't hard drugs or illegal weapons. This is rice for God's sake. That is someone with a sympathy who knows what it takes to start up a business and what it takes to even to ship and you know goods to from country to, to, to another country. What it takes is not easy. Then Dr. Adelady said. Why were the goods confiscated? I wonder. Food items. So you see, the people are responding to this kind of uh, decision they want to take. But whether they confiscate it or not, they are using people to cash crews. So that is all for now. I decided to share this with us so that you will understand what is going on and what Igbo people are going through in the country. I will, you know, be coming your way some other times. Just make sure you share the video, like. If you have not followed the page, please do so. If you do so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment, like the video so that you get to other people to watch. Have a wonderful day and see you some other times. Bye bye.